Hi everyone, I'm Audra Martin. Thrilled as always to be joined by Kelly Panic. Kelly, a member of the women's national team and now the brand new professional women's league team here in Minnesota. Kelly, we know the importance of faceoffs. Maybe not the flashiest thing to talk about in hockey, but important nonetheless, especially on the penalty kill in your own zone. Yep, you nailed it. Penalties are super important, especially in the offensive or defensive zone or in special team scenario. So right here on this clip, um, just going to kind of point out where we are. Eight minutes left in the third period. Um, it's a 4-2 game. So if they can get a goal, if Canada can get a goal in this uh, power play, they feel very much with momentum going into the last um, under 10 minutes of the game. What we don't see in the screen, obviously they have two more players on the ice, one of them being the best player in the world who's way up here at the point, Marie Philippe Plan. Again, knowing, you know, we play Canada all the time, we know what they want to do for the most part. We know what their objective is. And a discussion before this, it was actually TV timeout. So we were able to talk a lot, maybe a little bit too much, and it was all sorting, trying to figure out where we want people to go. So what we end up doing here is actually switching. Um, Grace Zumwinkle, who's here on the wall, she's going to move to the middle of the ice. The reason being, we don't want them to have a clean win and then let one of the best players in the world walk down, right down the slot with a ton of time and space. So one issue or challenge on this play, as you see Megan Keller sliding over, is we have a lefty defenseman, Savannah Harmon, a lefty defenseman, Megan Keller, right here. Makes it a little bit hard. Ideally, you have a righty on the wall who's able to step into a one puck and ring it harder on the weak side, change the flow. Obviously, you can see all that space in the upper right area of the zone to hopefully create a puck battle to get this puck out. What they do a really good job of on this play is running a little pick situation. So as this happens, you see Megan Keller, who's coming from the wall. She interferes with her player, allowing Savannah to come under this way Pick up that puck on her forehand. We all know where this puck wants to go. It's going to go hard up the, up, up the wall using a glass. The Canadian player does a good job getting some pressure on it. But we're able to follow this play up and get into this puck battle. This is a really big key on a penalty kill. So not just the execution of a draw, but making it mean something, right? Making it count, getting this puck out. We get two players around this puck battle without any Canadian player in sight. So if you're on the flip side of it, you're on a power play, you're saying we have to get people around this puck to keep it in. We do a good job of outnumbering them, getting that puck out. And I, I always think anytime you can get the puck ice on a penalty kill, especially to start, it creates momentum for your kill, which creates momentum going into the rest of the game. Absolutely. You all make it look so easy. <laughs> Kelly always making it look easy on the ice too. And you can see here in person playing with Minnesota this winter as a member of the PWHL.